Unfortunately, latency is an issue on all digital systems, but in regards to the Quark Cortex, we can actually do something about it most of the time. We can kind of tame that latency. Now, when we take a look at my Nolly preset and I only move the speaker down to the third lane, uh, we already have less latency. If we go ahead and skip and delete all the modules we don't need, and in best case assemble our modules only on the first lane of the quad cortex thing is lane one and two are happening on the first dsp of the quad cortex and lane three and four are happening on the second dsp of the quad cortex but there is a connection in between that is buffered and sometimes that buffer can also be overcome by uh, the latency compensation, but that depends on the mathematical operations that are being carried out on the DSPs. Usually the thing is, if we just stick to the first DSP and we don't overload it, so it has to go multi-cycle, uh, we get the best latency values. And as you can see in this example, we have reduced the latency from 276 samples down to 212 samples. So um, be free to experiment. As you can see, all those digital latency values I measured are absolutely correct. The other thing that I want to talk directly about today are my own captures from my previous video and the captures that I'm also using here. Some of you have been asking for them. I'm honest, I will not share the universal audio captures that you can do yourself if you buy an aux stomp, uh, but I'm glad to share the captures of my AMAC uh, preamp. Those preamps that we find in modern day digital consoles are relatively super linear and relatively sterile. So you can really beef up your guitar signal by using the AMAC captures. And the other thing with that preamp captures is that there are three captures, one of the preamp just by itself and then two with different analog high cut, low cut settings that I use live every time I play. Did they finally add a live tuner that is so awesome they also fixed a couple of things I read at least they fixed some noise issue on the nameless and on my favorite amp on the SLO they kind of shortened the switching delay between going from clean to overdrive and back or rhythm and overdrive and back and that's just super uh, getting the Nolly onto the system is also great, even though we have some limitations, but I'm going to make a video about that. Uh, but what I really, really enjoy as a person who just sometimes plays bass, it's the Parallax plugin. And having the, the power and, uh, and the portability of having that on a Quad Cortex is just awesome. So, well, so much about the 320 Core OS update and checking out the Nolly. Thank you very much for your time. Like and subscribe, that would be cool. And most of all, don't forget to have the best day ever. Bye.